Oh, it's definitely a, a extra cup of coffee kind of day. It's a great day to be a great day. Cheers. I had to dig out my coat. I thought it was going to be a lot chillier. Maybe it's later in the week. Either that or maybe it's just because I drank that cup of coffee. <sighs> Either way, the sun is shining, so I will be happy about it. So, I don't know what today is in store for. We've talked about a couple different things. I need to, one, go get baler parts at Loft. Um, I need to bring up calves to work. <laughs> we can't bail no hay this week because of the weather, unfortunately. <sighs> it's getting close. Just, it uh, just puts everything behind. If we don't start bailing now, we just get further behind. He was thinking maybe Memorial Week. We'll see. See how the weather goes. See what God has in store for the day. we go on first cut it not only has a it could potentially have a bloom in it but the later we put off first cut alfalfa that means later getting into grass fields and then just everything gets behind do your wean calves come running at you come on baby We have the fall ones at home. Yes. Oh. <clears throat> hey, buddy. You got all steers here. Hmm. Noble. And heifers. Steers and heifers. Man, 9-2 is really slicked out, hadn't she? Look at her face. She's beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, you are. Just like your mama. She's growing now. Mm-hmm. She had a growth curve. They look I mean, good. Yeah, she should be bigger, but that's all right. So somebody asked about flies on our one of the comments. So, uh, we typically don't have a whole lot of fly issues. Um, we rotational graze, and one of the reasons we have flies in this paddock is because there are cattle on the other side of the farm. But generally, we don't have a whole big fly issue. But, uh, Perina came out with some new fly control mineral. So, we are giving that a try, so I will be glad to report back when we get all that going so we are going to bring all these calves home in the next day or so put them in with our wean calves at home we're gonna yep so we're gonna we're gonna pick out the heifers we want to keep to rebreed and then They'll come back to this paddock here. There's what, 20 acres here for them? They're gonna go over to the farm, or well, the, the, all the farm, but they're gonna go back out with the fall cows, which is right across this tree line, the creek. They'll go over there. But like, that's a heifer we're keeping. That's a heifer. We're keeping all the yellow tagged heifers and then a few others. Well, actually most of, most of all the heifers, aren't you keeping? Yeah, she's Mm-hmm. And we're gonna keep this heifer who we tagged wrong. She's got a white tag, which she really should have.
And then there's Chocolate Chip. She was a bottle baby. Hi, baby. Hi, pretty girl. Hi. And what Jason's just doing is he's just giving treats. Um, they're just Purina beef cubes, um, breeder cubes. We really like using them just as a treat to get the cows to come up. Um, funny story is at home, the yellow bucket becomes like the nominated feed bucket. And if you carry a yellow bucket around, they will follow you and they will come back. Hello, babies. Yes. Hi. I could spend all day over here. Yes. So we will keep actually all these, all five of this head right here. These, all these girls will stay. All of them. I was a little contemplated about Chip keeping her, but now she's kind of colored back out and filled back out. I think we'll keep her. What? Mm-hmm. And we'll keep her. <laughs> Hi, baby. Cookie. What? Yeah. <laughs> Face baby had her bucket on her head. <sighs> she still remembers me. They're so nosy. Look, I can still pet Chip. Mm-hmm. What better way to end our anniversary, huh, honey, than checking cows? <sighs> what? Okay. And oh nine. So nine, that was the baby we just seen. Her baby from last year. Slayers. Yeah, last year's baby, because she just has a baby out here. Look at them them little ninkum poops. They're just all coming back over underneath the fence. Nobody's business. So we did turn the bull back. Saturday in check the mineral they're throwing their blocks out so we use the monster mineral feeders over with both sets of cows uh, we keep a range of blocks I'm gonna have to bring blocks over but blue cobalt green selenium and of course our Perina wind and rain which that's high mag and we're going to be transitioning over from high mag to fly control. Yeah, so we're gonna be kind of switching it over slowly. Yeah, go ahead and feed it up. But I'll tell you more about it as we go through the program. But Karina came out with a fly control mineral in the wind and rain series. And we're gonna try it out on our on our paddocks with rotational grazing, we do not have a whole lot of fly issues um, because we are moving paddocks and eliminating the fly issue. But we are teaming up with Feeders Grain, our local feed dealer for Purina, and gonna do some trials and see how it affects the fly population. <sighs> Come on, you babies. So we have a hard time keeping the babies in, obviously, um, with our two-strand high tensile 
we're not overly concerned about it because we have mamas out here. Wean calves, we would have a little bit more of a struggle. So that's why they come home for a while before they go out on the Stay Tough Woven. But babies always come back to their mamas because they get hungry. They may get out for a little while, but they always come back. Oh, hey, we need to look at this baby. She's kind of... I need to bring stuff over tomorrow. So we... She's got an abscess. But she gets around fine. Just probably needs to be popped and lanced. There's a baby. There's a baby. We need to tag babies. Who do you belong to? Who's this baby? Birdie. Oh, yep, there's mom. She was in my picture from the other day. There's mom. Yes, so cute. I could spend all day over here. It's my favorite place. Favorite place. Oh, and then here's 21. You guys seen her not being very nice to her baby. Took her home. Thought she might have a mastitis issue. She didn't. She just needed a little help being mom. She's got figured out now. And she loves her baby. And there's Valor coming up. He's so beefy. He was in our basement. We're going to keep him back. He's going to stay a bull. He'll be... What? What's wrong? Oh, is he? Is he doing his business? He needs to be doing his business. He needs to show up for work. <sighs> I like that cow. 55. We're keeping her baby, aren't we? From last year? Yeah, she's over there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so we'll be keeping her. I just, there's that's something about her. Too, ain't it? Mm hmm. I like her head. I do too. Though. I really do. I mean, her baby over there has a matching head. This is what we do. We just come and chill out and talk cows. Who is that? Uh, Seventeen. So you think she's trying? You have to watch her too. Well, I mean, they are supposed to be coming this fall. We turned bullet in on with them so on in November or December. November probably. So December, June, February, March, April, May. She's six months bred. Yeah. They're getting ready to be thirds, ain't they? Mm-hmm. So that would probably be right on strawberry. And, yeah. if, and especially if she might come a little bit early. Early. Because mm -hmm. then there's that twelve. Yes. Nine twelve. Mm -hmm. What's she doing? She's kind of the same way. He might have gotten all of them. Yeah, but I don't think he got Callie because he was Slayer was messing with her the yesterday. She's already down there. Very interesting.
The chickens are out. Chickens don't know what to think about it. 